As many of you know, a Merlin saga film based on the popular book series by T.A. Barron has been in development for years. First over at Warner Brothers and now at Disney, and it appears that the project now has an Academy Award winning writer on board. According to reports, writer Philippa Boyens has joined the project. Boyens is best known for working with Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh in all six Middle Earth films, as well as on King Kong and The Lovely Bones. Schnepp, do you buy or sell the edition of Philippa Boyens as the writer for the Merlin saga? I definitely buy it. I mean, she's got the cred. She's done all the, the you know, all of the the, uh, the Tolkien books and a bunch of other. She's worked with Jackson, uh, the Peter Jackson clan for her whole career. So this feels like it's her her first breakout role, but still within the realm of mythology. Um, we we're kind of checking out uh, this Merlin saga. I was like, how many are there? And at first it was like, there's five, there's 11. They all have like weird, like color, like divergent covers where it's like, I'm a dragon. I'm a weird orange specter. I'm a purple <laughs> thing inside of a crystal. So if you look at all of them, you're like, all right, I'm, Arthur better be in there somewhere. So I don't, I don't know exactly how they play this Merlin saga out. So I'd like to look into it a little bit more, but it sounds exciting. You have a writer who can really do a really good justice to especially a trilogy or a big amount of books adapting them. So I think it's good. It's cool seeing the differences in approach here because whereas one, you got Tomb Raider, you get a writer that nobody's ever seen anything right. from and a director. Now, granted, though, they do have a director named Roar Uthog, right. so that's got that going for it. <laughs> but so what do they do for this brand new Merlin franchise? Let's go get an Academy Award winning writer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I saw some discussions online today about like, ah, oh, no, she was just always writing on. P she's never done anything herself. She's always writing on Peter Jackson's coattails. How, how do you know it wasn't her doing the hefty load of the writing? Why do you think Peter Jackson, where everything he did, he had to have her with him? Totally. Why do you think that's the case? So I think this really bodes well. I'm looking forward to seeing, and I, I agree with what you said completely. It's going to be cool seeing her now transition doing something without, you know, the regular group of people she usually works with, but still staying within the mythological realm and stuff like that. I think that's a really cool move for her. Yeah. I think it bodes well for this franchise, so for me, it's a buy. Yeah, she's worked with magic and mythology before, but also, even more so than being an Academy Award winning writer, she can adapt things that people love already. So people love these Merlin books. It's, it's, I think it's geared for, for younger people, and it's about a young Merlin. So if you can adapt Tolkien stuff and put it in the Lord of the Rings, and make people love what you did with that, then that is a huge buy for me because if she's doing something like this, it means it's going to be able to, to, to appeal to a wider audience because people love Lord of the Rings. So many more people never read Lord of the Rings, watched the movies, and fell in love with them too. So maybe she can work the same magic with Merlin. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.